We're good. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while. We've been busy with, uh, I guess, life in general. Um, but unbeknownst to me, Tyler was doing some scientific research for Orzakowski Racing um, during that time frame. And he sent me a couple of videos to edit, which I'm in the process of because I have to, re I guess, post record what he sent because what he sent was before Volusia. So that it's somewhere in that racing timeline is this process that he picked up an engine block, he got a battery charger, a garbage can, some sodium carbonate, and he put all that together and it was the process of electrolysis. So here's that and I really hope you guys enjoyed it because I, I liked it. I'm about to go watch myself some Bill Nye now after watching this. So stay tuned, watch it. Hopefully you learned some things and hopefully we'll be back on track because I'll fill you guys in after this video. All right, so I bought a block for cheap uh, for the car. Uh, it was pretty rusty, been sitting outside, but the board checked out um, and the price was right. So that even if it doesn't work out, not out that much money. Um, so before we send it off, to an engine builder or a machine shop or anything. Um, we had to try to clean it up. So I'm trying what's called electrolysis on the block. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, so I've got a trash can full of water here with the engine block in it. Um, and we've got sodium carbonate in the water. Um, we've got the, hold on, I'm trying to get centered up here. I'm not doing a very good job. Um, and we've got the block in there, we've got sodium carbonate in the water, and then you hook up a battery charger to uh, the block with the negative side or whatever you're trying to de-rust. And you put a sacrificial piece of metal in there and hook up the positive side, and you turn that battery charger on and let it go to work. And it seems to be working so far. I can see some clean spots through the water. Um, yeah, we'll see. I've had it in there for a little less than 24 hours. Uh, I'm going to keep it in there for about two days, then get it out, pressure wash it, um, oil it up, and see what it looks like. Um, if we got to put it in there for another couple days, maybe. Um, but we'll see. Hoping for the best. Uh, it's, apparently it's a really good cleaning process for blocks and steel and things like that. So I'm really excited to see how this comes out. Uh, yeah, man. Science. All right. So it's been in here for almost two days. Uh, just disconnected everything. We're going to see how it is. We're going to take it out. I uh, see it's still bubbling a little bit. And then we're going to pressure wash it and see what we're working with. So here's our sacrificial piece of metal. Um, you'll see what happens to it during this process. So pretty freaking cool. This is what it looked like to start out with. So I'll get it out. We'll take a look at it and we'll go from there. All I've got to say is holy crap. So I didn't take a before picture of this thing. Um, because I wasn't really sure how this was going to go, but I would say that's a freaking success. This thing looks awesome. You know, we could probably get a little bit better, but not much. Um, cylinders have to be bored anyway, um, but they turned out a lot better than I anticipated too. So I just got done pressure washing it, getting all the gunk off. It was sitting in there and uh, coating it in a little WD-40 just to keep it from flash rusting. Um, but yeah, this thing, God, I wish I would have taken a before picture. Um, this is awesome. Let's take a look at the, uh, don't mind my dead grass. So this is the anode uh, that was used. There you can see how, how thick of stuff is on there um, pretty cool process so so let's walk back over oh, don't mind that beast right there um, 
but yeah so that is called electrolysis cleaning um we just use water and sodium carbonate i believe and some electricity so this was in there for about a day and a half and it cleaned it up great um the longer you leave it in there uh, obviously the better results but i think we i think we hit the nail on the head with the timeline on this so yeah so not only do you get a little bit of racing content with us use some science too um, i'm only quarter polish so you know i can still do stuff like this but, all right we are headed to volusia now goodbye not just leaving that tyler i see you <laughs> um co really cool process though right um who would have thunk it tyler knows how to do some science stuff not only he can drive he can do some science stuff so if, i guess if racing doesn't work out for us he can be a substitute teacher for a science class <laughs> but um hopefully you guys learned something off that video and a cheaper alternative way to clean an engine block uh deoxidize it I guess that would be a word um as far as any updates the engine has been sent to an engine builder um and we're really stoked because it gives a time frame that it should be done in april hopefully before volusia and he said if the earliest convenience would probably be i think maybe um late march for putnam we shall see because putnam's a few weeks away um but until then, hopefully you guys learn learn anything. If you did, hit that like button. If not, uh, you can leave a comment or uh, sub to our channel because it, it's slowly growing. And we do appreciate every sub, every like, and every comment on our videos. So until then, guys, see you.